Australia is a country that is known for its amazing beaches, marine life, and the dry and arid landscapes. But little do we know that Australia was once covered by pockets of tropical ecosystems. These areas are home to many native vegetations and animals where some are classified as endangered. However, within the last hundreds of years, large portion of them has been lost due to the increase of human activities. It is important for everyone to manage and help restore these areas by learning from the past. Just as Theodore Roosevelt once said, the more you know about the past, the better prepared you are for the future. A study made by Australian scientists have shown that integrating time, space, and culture can be useful to help manage Australian wet tropics in the future. Their study focuses on the Chumbrumba Swamp, the largest remnant of the Mobi Forest. In this site, scientists studied the different types of vegetation and they collected pollen, spore, and charcoal to be analyzed. They also looked into the history of the site to the time when indigenous people and Europeans settled there. The analysis of the vegetation shows that within the site, there's a high biodiversity of vegetation such as swamps and woodlands. There are both native and non-native species found in the site and it has been analyzed that the vegetation boundaries are diffused, meaning that vegetation that are generally found in swamplands are also found in woodlands. Meanwhile, the analysis of the pollen, spore, and charcoal gives scientists an idea on which areas within the site are more likely to be disturbed. The analysis shows that the areas with the highest percentage of introduced fern pollen are more disturbed. The scientists also did another analysis called the Principal Component Analysis, which shows that the high variation of the pollen taxa within an area corresponds to the high concentration of microcharcoal in the soil, showing the high frequency and intensity of fire at the site, indicating high levels of human activities. History shows that the site belonged to Aboriginal people who cleared their rainforest for camp and burial grounds, as well as a result of fire for land management, creating open grassy and sedgy woodland pockets. Overall, this study shows that Chumbrumba is a high conservation value site where scientists, planners, managers, and communities are able to manage this landscape through understanding the historical reconstruction of past landscape through the interaction of people and nature. See you next week!